In this video, we provide an overview of how to generate lysates from cultured cells suitable for proteomic analysis. Following incubation of the cells in culture, it is critical to prepare your lysates quickly for ex vivo analysis. This involves scraping of cells into a small volume of lysis buffer, pelleting the cells in a low-speed centrifuge, sonication of the collected cells on ice in homogenizing buffer, ultracentrifugation, and storage of the soluble fraction in a minus 70 degree freezer. Prepare the Conexus lysis buffer part number E by adding it to the lysis buffer cocktail containing protease inhibitors and DTT part number D and store the vials on ice. Open the door of the CO2 incubator and remove two 100 mm dishes of cultured cells which contain a layer of culture medium. The dishes should be labeled as control and treated. Transfer the dishes into the laminar flow hood and aspirate the medium using vacuum suction. Rinse the cells on the bottom of the dish twice with ice code phosphate buffered saline, also known as PBS, and aspirate as much PBS as possible after the second rinse. Add 100 microliters of the Conexus lysis buffer containing the lysis buffer cocktail to each dish using a pipetter. Scrape cells off the dish using a rubber policeman. Collect the resulting cell suspension from dishes and transfer it to a 1.5 mL pre-labeled microcentrifuge tube which is kept on ice in a beaker. Put on the ear protection gear prior to sonication. Sonicate using a microprobe sonicator four times for 10 seconds each with 10 second intervals in between to rupture the cells and to shear nuclear DNA. Transfer the lysates from the microcentrifuge tubes to ultracentrifuge tubes and balance the weights using a scale. Load the tubes along with their matched balanced tubes into the ultracentrifuge. Centrifuge the resulting lysate homogenate at 90,000 G or above for 30 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. Transfer the resulting supernatant to a new 1.5 mL microcentrifuge tube. 